to show our game. So today, I'm going to be teaching you guys order of operations with fractions. So let's refresh. What is order of operations? We call it bed mass. I'll teach you what bed mass is. So bed mass. So the B stands for brackets. The E stands for exponents. The D stands for division. The M stands for multiplication. The A stands for addition. And S stands for subtraction. So that's what order of operations is. I taught you order of operations in one of my previous videos, but today we're going to do order of operations with fractions. Okay, let's do the first question. Two over three squared divided by, divided one over four plus one over nine times one over five. Okay, so first let's do the brackets because that's what it says. B, we have to do brackets first. We have brackets here and here. These are brackets. Okay, so two, we have to square two, two over three we have to square that. Remember I tell you, we have to do like two squared making, that means two times two, we have to do two times. We have to do same thing, but two over three, two times. Let's see, two over three times two over three. I taught you how to addition, um, adding fractions, subtracting fractions, and multiply fractions, and dividing fractions. Let's, this is multiplication, multiplying fractions. It's going to be easy. So let's see if we can reduce anything. No, we can't. So we can just multiply those bottom numbers and the top numbers. 3 times 3 equals 9. 2 times 2 equals 4. So we can do that. We can keep that as 4 over 9. So it's just going to be 4 over 9. Okay. We have this bracket. We, we, this is adding fractions. Let's do that. So 1 over 4 plus 1 over 9. We have to find the LCM because the um, denominator numbers are not the same. So let's use the L-shape method. 4 comma 9. Are both, is 4 and 9 divisible by the same number? No. So we can just multiply 4 times 9 equals 36. That is the denominator. Okay. So 4 times what number is 36? 9. So, that's, so 9 times 1 equals 9. So... 9 is a numerator, and then 9 times what number is 36? 4. So 4 times 1 equals 4. So 4 over 36. Now we can add this. 36 as a denominator, and 9 plus 4 equals 13. Can we reduce that? No, we can't. So the answer is 13 over 36. So divided by 13 over 36. Okay, let's do this one. No, we have times one over, we can add that. So let's do left to right. So four over nine divided by 13 over 36. We have to find that the um, reciprocal for 13 over 36. So that's gonna be 36 over 13, we just have to flip that around. So this division symbol can change into a multiplication symbol. And then 36 over 13. Let's see if we can reduce anything. So 9 and 36, yeah, they're both in 9 times table. So 9 divided by 9 equals 1. And then 36 divided by 9 equals 4. So that is 16 over 13. We can keep it for like that for now. We can 
change it after because we have times 1 over 5. So 16 over 13 times 1 over 5. Can we reduce anything? No, we can't. So let's just multiply um, those numbers. 16 times 1, 16. And then 13 times 5, that is 65. Let's see if we can reduce this. No, we can't. So, so the answer is... Okay, let's do one more question. So now let's do a, the final example. 5 over 9 plus 4 over 5 minus 2 over 5 divided by 1 over 2 times 4 over 9 divided by 1 over 9. So remember brackets always comes first. We have to do brackets first. We have brackets over here. So let's finish what's inside those brackets. So let's see. Five, so uh, these two fractions have the same denominator. Let's solve that one first. So four minus two equals two and we have the denominator is five. So it could be, it'll be two over five. So five over nine plus two over five. Okay. We have divided. So let's finish what's inside this bracket now. 1 over 2 times 4 over 9. Let's see. We can do 1 over 2 times 4 over 9. So it's going to be 1. And this can be 2. We if we reduce that. 4 divided by 2 equals 2. 2 divided by 2 equals 1. So that would be equals to 2 over 9. So we have divided by 1 over 9. Okay, let's do this. So 9 and 5. Are both those numbers divisible by the same number? No, they're not. So we can just multiply both those numbers. 45 is the denominator. what number is 45? 5. Then 5 times 5 equals 25. And then 5 times what number is 9? I mean, 5 times what number is 45? 9. So 9 times 2 equals 18. And then divide by 2 over 9. Divided by 1 over 9. Let's do this. So 25 plus 18. That is 43. 43. So that would be equal to 43 over 45. Divided by. So let's see. 2 over 9. So we have to find a reciprocal for 1 over 9. That will be 9 over 1. Then we have to change the division symbol to, to a multiplication symbol. So that will be 9 over 1. Then we can multiply those fractions. 43 over 45 um, divided by... So let's see, 1, 1. 9 and 9, so that will be 2 divided by 2. So the reciprocal for, sorry one second. So that will be 43 over 45 divided by 2 over 1. Okay, now let's solve this one. So 43 over 45, so we have to... Find the reciprocal for 2 over 1. That equals 1 over 2. So, 
then we have to change the division symbol to the multiplication symbol. So times one over two. Let's see if we can reduce anything. No, we can't. So let's just multiply. 43 times one, that equals 43. Over 45 times two, let's see. That will be 90. So the answer is 43 over 90. So that's how you do order of operations with fractions. I'll see you next time. Thanks for listening.